Hi, I'm Lynn Como with Close to My Heart, and I would love to share with you the variety of flip flaps that we have that helps you solve photo overload on the layouts that you already create. Instead of always creating another two pages and another two pages to a particular theme, why not use flip flaps to incorporate those same photos on two pages that you're already working on? So I'm really excited to show you lots of ideas with the different flip flaps that we sell. There are four different kinds of flip flap packages that we sell, and one of our most popular is 4x6 flip flaps. You get 15 in the pack. We also sell a 6x6 flip flap where you get 10 in a pack. This is your small assortment where it comes in four different sizes, 2x2s, 3x3s, 3x4s, and 4x4s. Great for memorabilia, ticket stubs, coins. Uh, if you do Instagram, you like two inch photos, you can use that. And then this is our large assortment, which is 12 inches long by four, six, and eight inches wide. So I wanted to show you that when you take a flip flap out, basically it's as if you're sealing an envelope. You're going to keep the opening towards you. You're gonna stuff this. This would be with a four by 12 piece of paper with your photos and journaling, anything you want on it, put it inside, and just pretend you're sealing an envelope. You fold this over, and you have this white nubby part on the outside. So your artwork is in here, and then this gets folded over. You would actually peel this off, and this is what gets stuck to the top of your page protector. That's key, because a lot of people forget that it should go on top of a page protector, and they glue it to their layout. And when you put that in your page protector, it won't flip, so it'll be a little problem. But here's showing you, basically, here's a two-page spread, and um, I wanted to show you that I've used a six-inch flip-flap, and Studio J is perfect for making those kind of photos into a five-and-a-half, five-and-three-quarter, or six-inch um, photo development. And I wanted to show you, I've already folded this over, and I've put my artwork inside, and you'll see I'm going to actually just adhere this right on top of my page protector. So I'm going to line that up and press it down. Now, you'll note that I actually have my photos upside down in here. I didn't glue them yet because I want to add some journaling. But that's one thing you need to know when you're using a flip flop that's up and down is photo orientation. So I need to flip that around. So let's show you some great ideas on what you can do with flip flaps. Now I'm using the large assortment here. And I'm using a 4-inch and a 6-inch, and this is one of my best examples to show where this 4-inch flip-flap, as you can see, all the photos are staying within that 4-inch uh, margin. I'm, I'm not going to have a, a photo underneath jutting out. It's just not pleasing to the eye. You'll also note that I have a 2-inch border here, which really helps separate them. And here's my 6-inch flip-flap, and I have some nice landscaping photos underneath. There are times that there are certain photos that you want to be under a flip flap or behind the scenes of a page and certain photos that you want on top of the page because it's really pretty. Another thing you'll note is that I love to accessorize flip flaps. Use your stash. There's lots of accessories you probably already have. And this is actually a bracket that's bratted. But instead of me doing it to the uh, bratting right through to the other side, I actually used glue dots to hold it right in place and it works great. This is a six inch flip flap, but I actually ended up cutting off a piece, so you could see this piece right here. When you do that, I've actually cut off the seam that was on this side, so which means this is open, so I need to seal it, and all I did was use um, a photo hanger and a brad, or you can use something else that you have in your stash. But I have my little journaling behind it, and it flips up great. Now you'll see this is a six inch flip flap, and it's secured at the middle. I have a little file tab that holds it in place and it flips up. So now I have lots of photos underneath and it's just another great way to add those extra photos that are part of that great day. 4x6 flip flaps. These are your 4x6s. Now one of my tips with a 4x6 flip flap is to, if you like to make your photos pop and have a little frame around it, a mat, is to cut a quarter of an inch off of your photo and cut your cardstock into 4x6s. You'll save a lot of money on cardstock that way and it will fit perfectly inside.
This is also a really pretty page and you'll note I boarded it out and I had like two more photos I needed to add to this lovely layout and I was trying to figure out how to do it and I love the way it came out. I used an arrow brad with ribbon and then it has a little surprise of another 4x6 flip flap so you can do a flip within a flip on your layout with another brad with ribbon tied on there and it's really fun. It's just great to use these flip flaps in so many ways to get more photos on that two page spread. Here's a 4x6 but I married it across with a 6 inch flip flap from the large assortment. You'll see I've boarded it out as well. I still need to add my accessories, but I'm loving the way it's always looking. I like showing this one too because, you know, I don't know about you, but I do like 5x7 photographs, but they take up a lot of real estate. But an 8 inch flip flap works great for that. So I have an 8 inch and a 4 inch together. So look at this I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x7s on this one page. How many of you can do that? So it's nice that I have this little bracket again and I've used some ribbon through it and my brads actually went through this time and it's not a big deal, that doesn't bother me. But you'll see that I've kept everything well within that 8 and 4 inch spray. I have flip flaps through different albums and it's just nice to show you versatility and variety. Here's a 4x6 flip flap here and here, but that little assortment with the 2 by 2s it was really cute using Studio J to make my photos into that size, and then I can use up my 2 by 2 flip flaps. This is actually just a sticker with an adhesive gem on it, so have fun with those little accessories that you love to play with. Here's a 4 by 3 flip flap, just giving you an idea, using paper and the accessories that came in within the kit as a little tag. And then uh, this is another one of my favorites, is to show you this is your 8 inch flip flap and your 4 inch flip flap. And look how nice that is when it opens up. There's a lot of photos on these pages. Now, instead of keeping your flip flaps together, here's one on this side, and then I have another one all the way over here with another 3x3 three three flip flap underneath. So there's so much that you can do, and I've added uh, spiral clips, ribbon, brads, different things that you can use. Now, how many of you like to do one photo on a page, right? Well, I know we don't really like to do that, but it's showing you this is your 4x6 flip-flap, and you can make it into a booklet where you've put two together. Or you can have three together. So this is actually five photos on this page. Here is my 4-inch flip-flap. Once again, I'm keeping everything within that 4-inch border. I've boarded it out. I don't have that photos coming out, on, I just don't have them coming out underneath because it would draw attention away from that. Little uh, photo hanger and accessories. And flip flaps are also a great way to journal your pages as well because that's an important factor with scrapbooking. This is another one of my favorite pages to show. It's a beautiful page in New Zealand. I love this, and, uh, but we also like to go out and eat and go to restaurants, and we like to take pictures of food. But I think that when you look at what's underneath the flip-flap, it looks better behind the scenes, so it's nice keeping those photos a part of that beautiful day uh, on the same layout, but maybe in the background. So you have your flip-flaps that hold, showcase your beautiful photos, but yet you still tell the story behind the scenes underneath. Using some brads and ribbon, and you're done. If you do panoramic shots, I know that some of us still do, um, a 4x12 flip flap works great for that. So you can use your 4x12 in that manner. Here's a 6 inch flip flap, but it's at the top of a page. It's a beautiful title, another photo hanger and ribbon, but yet what's behind it is pretty busy and I think I prefer it there, but yet it's part of the day and the beautiful scenery and surroundings we had. This is also showing you a 4 inch, a 4 by 6 flip flap and all I did was glue dotted some of my metal accessories together, added a ribbon 
and uh, the photo is a little bit blurry, so actually Flip Flaps has another purpose for some of your photos that might not be the best quality, could be a little bit blurry. Um, maybe it's the only photo you have of somebody, but it's not the best shot, but yet you still want it, so maybe you could put it in a flip flap. All right, one more. I'm hoping that this is giving you lots of visual ideas on how you can use flip flaps. But in this small variety pack right here, there's some 4x4s. And all I did was glue two together, and I made my little story right here, did my journaling about the beautiful hike that we did in Hawaii. Love this layout because it has a 4x6 flip-flop here, but yet I've used that spiral clip and brads and ribbon, and I have like a little accordion booklet going on here that's showcasing five photos. Sometimes you want to add some different accessories, and this is our burlap ribbon with the brad showing you different ways on how you can use it. It doesn't bother me that the little string is hanging. And putting those funny photos behind is, is kind of a cute idea when you go on the cruise and they give you those funny looking towels. Now getting back to that six inch flip flap. Now a six inch flip flap you can do it a couple of different ways. You can have a four by six going vertically. You can have a four by six going horizontally. I want you to think of three 4x6 photos, two that are going vertically, and one that's going horizontally, just like a plus sign, that you could have going on in one space. So I have a 4x6 here, and yet I have a large one, but it could have gone either way, and that's what's nice about the 6-inch photos, flip-flaps, I mean, is that you can have your photos going in different directions, but still be a part of the page without having to worry about it fitting perfectly in a 4x6, because you can't do a 4 by 6 both ways. Here's your little 3 by 3 always cute to show. Some of you remember these little brads or um, what do you call those little buckles that we sold. Here's another 6 inch flip flap and another great way to showcase it is you can have 3 by 3 photos underneath as well. A 4 by 6 this way or this way. Love showing a little paper flower. We all have paper flowers, a little brad to go through to encourage you to flip it up. And this is the last one I'll show you. This is actually in, um, towards the end of our Hawaii cruise and um, I had a little accident and I wanted to keep that story. So I wrote it all up and put it in a flip flap so it could still be a part of my book. So I hope you've enjoyed the different ways that you can use flip flaps. Um, and, and have got some great visual ideas, and uh, we'll start to use them in your books. Thanks so much.